And now we're going to go over to the capital of Georgia, to Tbilisi, where the Georgian parliament adopted the controversial foreign influence transparency law, also known as the foreign agents law, in its third and final reading on Tuesday. Its opponents gathered in front of the building and protests have been ongoing in Georgia for more than a month. And now we bring in a guest who will tell us more about what has been happening today and in particular in these last few hours. We now welcome our guest, Maria Nikuradze, an executive director at the Open Caucasus Media. Good afternoon and thank you very much for joining us at this particular time on TVP World. Hello. Good afternoon. So can you please tell us what has been going on in these last few hours since the passing of this very controversial bill? Uh, the riot police are now just moving into the crowd. Actually, I have to leave now. The people are really, the people are really angry. They have been protesting for a uh, more than an hour now, some try to break the barrier. Uh, I think there will be some arrests right now. Uh, there are a lot of police at the entrance as well. Uh, yeah, right now it's tense and we are expecting uh, that the riot police will be using force. We already have heard a few warnings. Uh, to calling people to disperse uh, and uh, yeah i mean right now as we are talking uh, you see a uh, massive group of riot police officers are moving towards the crowd trying to clear the, clear the space so so are the police not allowing protesters to uh to demonstrate outside of there the parliament oh. yeah the, this is outside the parliament yes yes and so are the police trying to break up these protests they don't want people to protest in front of the parliament yes yes they are trying to clear the entire area in the front of the parliament right now and they they have arrested a few people already there are hundreds of them right now marching on the on the streets of Mustafa they are telling me to go so i don't know i need to go somewhere Uh, have you been seeing any arrests? Have the police been detaining yes, protesters? Yes. yes, they have detained a few people, uh, including, I mean, they used uh, violence while detaining some of the protesters. Wow. This, is, wow. this is the amount of the police right now. As you can see, there are maybe even thousands, the whole area in the front of the parliament is, is full of them. It and looks like there's more the, police than... Yeah, people are already pushed back, so it looks quite bad. Are there more people coming out? Like more and more protesters gathering? I, uh, I assume so, but I cannot tell you because I'm a bit uh, uh, far away from from where the crowd starts. But from, my, from here, I can see that it starts at least from the Rustaveli Theater, which is, which is far away. How many protesters would you estimate are, are, are gathered there near the parliament building? There are, certainly there are thousands uh, that they have been gathering outside the parliament since 9 a.m. Uh, and there are they, there, it's, the crowd has only been growing since then. Uh, there are many thousands here outside now protesting despite what is going on. Well, I would imagine that those protests will uh, probably go on into the night, yes? Uh, people will continue Absolutely. to gather? Yes, uh, we, we expect more people to come in the evening after 7. Uh, now, we've been hearing reports of people, opposition members and, um, and, and protest leaders who have been uh, assaulted by people 
uh, with, with masks, kind of like what we're seeing in the background, some of these police. Um, have, you, have you witnessed any, any incidents such like uh, as those? Uh, sorry, I heard, I didn't hear the full question. You mean the tensions in the parliament? Uh, well, we've just heard reports of, uh, you know, demonstrators uh, and uh, leaders of demonstrators uh, being targeted by these masked uh, thugs, if you will, uh, and being beaten. Yeah. Uh, have you witnessed yes. or have you seen any such yes. such uh, actions uh, it's, uh, like this? Uh, absolutely. It's not just today, but it's been going on for weeks. Riot police officers have been very violent. I personally witnessed, I don't know, 10 riot police officers beating up one person lying on the ground. It's very common now. And they use a lot of force while arresting people. Mm. What is the government saying? Why why are they not allowing uh, the protesters uh, to gather there and 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 con continue these protests? I mean, it's been three or four weeks at this point. Well, they are saying that there are not many people. They claim this, and they claim that these people are uh, you know radical opposition. They are they are totally inadequate spreading disinformation and propaganda about the protests, saying that there are only 10,000 people in the streets, while there are very often tens of thousands of people coming out, protesting this law uh, and uh, protesting for their future in the EU. Uh, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs, James uh, O'Brien, is in Georgia today. Um, I don't know if you're aware of his visit. Has there been any news of his visit in Georgia? Uh, are you expecting uh, any hope, any results of his visit in Georgia today? Um, yeah, of course I know he's here. As I know, he was supposed to meet the government officials. He met already with the Prime Minister, but uh, there is not much is known so far if there is going to be something coming out of this uh, of this of this visit. But of course, there are rumors that there might be some kind of sanctions, including against the oligarch Putin even initially. But so far, nothing is confirmed, and the visit is still going on, so it's hard to tell. Okay, well, um, we would like to thank Maryam Nikuradze for uh, Executive Director of the Open Caucuses Media. Thank you very much for joining us uh, live here on our program today. We really appreciate it, and uh, we wish you the best of luck there. Thank you.